what's up? Welcome everybody. Um, it's the tenth anniversary here at Country Boys, so super excited for them that they have been able to be a staple of this community for craft beer for ten years now. Uh, so massive shout out to them for allowing us to do this opportunity. I started my podcast a couple years ago. The name of it is What the Shuck. Um, and essentially the goal of the What the Shuck podcast is to provide a platform to positive and influential people from the region of Kentucky or Appalachia that are looking to flip the narrative that we are a problem and that we always are going to be a problem into us being innovators and problem solvers. And my next guests um, are without a doubt some of the most talented musicians in our region and some of the best people that I know. Um, so without further ado, thanks for coming to the What the Shuck podcast with Brother Smith. Oh, thank you. So, this is Wes, and this is Aaron. Um, over the course of the last few years, I've got to know these fellas pretty well, and I'm definitely very honored to have them share this opportunity with me. Like I said, 10 years at Country Boy, and to team up with Brother Smith, who is, in one of my opinion, one of the, the best bands in our area, whether it's musically, or songwriting, or just the energy they bring, they bring the heat. So um, you are going to be in for quite a show. Essentially what we're going to do is just talk a little bit about what makes Brother Smith what they are and give you all an inside look about what makes them the artists that they are. So um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, so right now, I guess we'll go ahead and let them play a song for us and then I'll ask them some questions about that song and see what it's up. This is my first podcast. So Thank I'm, you. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Um, <laughs> I think mean, you can't see, but I'm, I'm shaking. I've, I've got it right inside of my shoes. That's why I wore two pairs of socks today, just in case. It's a, it seems that they've worked out so far. I appreciate that. I appreciate but, the cautionary but, uh, the example that you're providing people. But cautionary with. footwear is essential. Uh, but what song do you want to play? It's called No Hurry. No Hurry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Kentucky, um, which if you don't know where that is, it's just south of Covington. Um, pretty close to Florence, just north of Florence. Uh, grew up in a musical household. And um, yeah, had, had a lot of influence. Influence from everywhere. Other bands, um, our parents, uh, people we played with in school, you know, uh, TV, movies, different uh, cartoons, just anything. I mean, you can. Uh, you can pull some juice out of about anything, really, and turn it into a song if you really want to. And, uh, and use it going forward in however you're thinking of playing or writing or, or, or doing whatever it is that you want. I would say that based off of some of the song titles or song themes, you got songs about squirrels, you got songs about wolves, you got songs about purple balloons. Yeah. Um, you all write some crazy stuff, then you all write some just, I was sitting at a bar and uh, met some friends and I couldn't remember your name, but please write it down so you can save me for the day or the morning. Yeah. But it's, you, all, it's all juice for something. Yeah. And you all are squeezing it out every, squeezing it. every ounce. Yeah. You got a strainer, one of those little yellow things got the two handles on it, but I think it's, it's probably also a strainer, right? You can add grip strength too, I'll tell you. Yeah. What are you all drinking by a country boy right now? What'd you get? Uber living? Living? Uber living? Uber living. I got the uh, tropical sour. Um, I'm a sour guy, big sour guy. Uh, remember to tip your bar fingers. And also, did you all bring me tip drop? We got yep, a, sure did. Yeah. Yeah. Right when I'm done with this beer, you can you get can, all the You can tip the Brother Smith in one of the this glass, this glass right in front of my computer. Uh, but let's hear another song for you. Let's sing a song about the purple balloon. Purple balloon.
you acted like you were pretty novice, and I was like, I don't think so. Um, obviously, Wes, uh, you're pretty talented guitar-wise. Um, this is typically how they play, for those of you all who haven't seen them. Um, Wes is going to usually be on the guitar, and Aaron's going to typically be on the fiddle, and then sometimes they have a variation of people that play with him. Um, you all have a few different styles. You have a full band, you have... Um, yeah, we've got a guy named Tyler Young that plays bass with us. Uh, Trevor Caldwell plays saxophone and uh, the flute and sings, and his wife, Amberly Winfrey, she sings and plays auxiliary percussion with us when we have a full outfit. And uh, occasionally Zach Martin is a drummer around town, he will play with us as well. Zach Martin is literally the drummer of like every band in Lexington. Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 yeah. he's on like what? He's in Abby's band, he's uh, with you all, he's with yeah, like, Nicholas Jamerson, you all also play with that. Um, so you'll have a show coming up tomorrow, um, and then a show coming up on Saturday, um, for those of people who are not from this area and are going to be watching the podcast, um, where y'all going to be playing tomorrow? Tomorrow's at the uh, Great Hall in Pikeville, uh, with Nick Jensen, Morgan Jays, and then we're playing with them again on Saturday at South Dakota House Revival in Newport. Newport KY. Yeah. So, what, what's what's on the agenda for this year? Like, are you all releasing new music? Do you all have any big goals? Yes, yeah. we uh, we recorded a new album with uh, two people I mentioned before, Trevor Caudell and Amber Winfrey, last February. That uh, should start coming out this year. Um, Aaron and I have been working on a couple of projects on our own. So yeah, lots of lots of songs, lots of new music come out. I'm pretty excited to share. Where can people typically find you all as far as on like media and so? Almost everywhere. Yeah, wherever you can get music. Yeah. Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Don't have MySpace anymore. Got rid of that. So essentially anywhere with the interwebs, yeah. you all you all are gonna be reaching yeah. from yeah. Galaxy to Dimension you all are on it. Um, so tell us a little bit about what your all's major influences are for music because you all have a pretty eclectic sound. Uh, it's you, you have some roots that sound like southern rock, you have some roots that sound like classic rock. You have obviously some bluegrass. Um, so what are some of the major people that were in your all's wheelhouse of listening growing up? He's going to go at the exact same time. Maybe one and one better. I uh, grew up listening to a lot. Mom and Dad always listened to a lot. I mean, always liked a lot of different music. My dad, being a piano player his whole life, played a lot. I mean, we all took piano lessons and learned a good amount of just, I think, just classical piano pieces as kids. Um, he liked uh, 103.5, just the oldies rock station in Cincinnati. Uh, so I heard a lot of the oldies growing up. Um, really loved the Eagles, listened to a lot of the Eagles. Boston, Kansas, you, that's where you would jump in. Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't know, anything that would really tickle you fun about, you know? Yeah. It all, it all comes to stages. I mean, when I first started uh, playing guitar, it was like, you know, Beatles and Zeppelin and ACDC and like all of the stuff to get rolling with. And then, um, Discovered Jonathan Edwards, and James Taylor, and um, Jim Croce, yeah. Rediscovered some things that I realized I'd listened to when I was a kid, and didn't really know what it was, and then found them as an adult. Um, but like I said before, it's not just music, you know, like, I, uh, I really dig, like, sketch comedy stuff and, uh, and stand up and I feel like you, you can draw a lot from that too, just how to like say your piece, how to set things up, um, how to tell a story, you know, which uh, all that is, is it's, it's, it's all very similar thing, similar muscle, just a different outlet, but I think. Good amount of my Python. Yeah. And I honestly, you can tell that just by the ad-libs that you all have in your songs and the noises you make and that's what, one of the main reasons why I think you are so entertaining is you all go beyond just being the typical, oh, we're going to sit up here, we're going to play guitar, we're going to play fiddle. You're like going to make funky, like, all the noises you make. Like, 
That was good. That was pretty good. It's just, um, it's really entertaining to watch you all. You can tell that you're influenced beyond just music. Like, you can tell that you have some sort of shows in the show that isn't just musically talented. Um, so I think that's the main reason why people connect to you all. It's not just the same. We've had, we've had a lot of good teachers, too, along the way. You know, right off the bat, our parents are both musicians. They taught us a good bit. Um, our mom is a singer. Taught us to look at people in the face when we sing. You know, and um, how to stand in front of the microphone. I don't always do it right, but, you know, it's in there somewhere. And, you know, it's like your hands in your pockets. And yeah. All that when you yeah. I was just doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's hear another song from y'all. Cool. Is everybody cool with hearing another song Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Uh, this was influenced by the news and all the crazy stuff going on on the TV. Uh, 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 uh,
vacations, but during the summer when you all go play like a show that's like a festival or something, um, I know that that's how I got to know you all pretty well over the last couple of years, and just seeing you all in that scene versus being at like a show that you play at like Twisted Core for the Pearl. Uh, there's a little bit more intimacy, I think, that you get to see uh, at a, a festival, and so tell us a little bit about like some of your favorite places that you all have played over the course of the last few years that have just made an impact on you all. Uh, Musically, just building the community. Uh, what are some of your all's favorite like festivals and things you play at? Uh, well, this past year we got to play uh, Red Bird with the uh, Morning Jays, which was really a lot of fun. It was really hot, but uh, you know we played at like one o'clock, so we were in the shape for most of it, and uh, went on with our went on with our day. Saw a bunch of their bands. Uh, played Kick on the Creek a couple of times. That was great. Um, Play a natural musician festival that last year. Got out to Hogan's Fest in Virginia. Yeah. They're all, pretty much all of them are wonderful. And they're all different in their own ways. You know, how many bands are there, how many stages there are, how many late night things are going on, you know, people are jamming or you know, just sitting around eating and meeting people and getting to know one another. Yeah, and really, uh, you know, you spend most of the time running around trying to get your own thing going. And uh, everyone's sort of working all at the same times, so it's really nice to go and see other people work and play and do what they love to do. So I hope everyone here is doing something that they love to do, whether it's today or tomorrow, whenever. It's important. Um, I definitely agree. Obviously, that's a massive of what we do with what the show came through the Appalachian Pioneer Program. Thank you all for the help that you all have up with that. We did a Tornado Relief uh, concert at Great Hall, which they're going to be playing at tomorrow in Pikeville. We did a Tornado Relief concert there with Leah Blevins, Clark Sexton, and then Nicholas Jamerson, the Morning Jays, which is the super band they're in. And it's just really cool to see all these people always willing to come together and use their talents and their art to make an impact in the community. I've been very fortunate to have a platform because of, I grew up with Nicholas and he kind of just helped me to know a lot of the people in that industry. And so it's been really cool to be able to help people uh, with the influence of music and craft beer. Um, so far, Appalachian Pioneer Programs raised $20,000 just through various projects and it's people like you all that really make it possible. And, you know, we've given, uh, Almost, you know, like, almost twenty five hundred dollar Christmases to families in Appalachia. Um, Seven thousand dollars to flood relief. Um, we're still raising money for tornado relief, so I don't have the exact final number on that, but we're over two thousand um, dollars. And there's just uh, we we raised money for various things, and it's just been really cool to be able to do that. Literally, just because of people that are great musicians and that people love craft beer. 
and that's been a major uh, platform that I've been able to use, and it's really cool to, to use that. And I'm, I'm so, like I've said so many times, so fortunate that um, I had this this idea, and people have re it's resonated with people. Um, we've talked many times, and like I said, I just I couldn't do it without you all. Uh, people like Jeff here at Country Boy and all the others that the people that started Country Boy. Um, they've helped with multiple events we've done, and so just it takes a community. So, like you said, as you build that community, you're able to see people at those music festivals that you might not necessarily get to see all the time. And so, it obviously make, makes a huge impact on you all, but it also makes a huge impact outside of your all's community because you're all helping to change people's lives. So, I appreciate you all for that. Uh, appreciate you, man. Yeah. Do you want to play another song? There's actually two songs we're going to play back to back. First one's called The Funny World, and the second one is called The Song for Saturday, which uh, we wrote on a day very much like this, coming out of the winter, and it was sunny and nice. And like, I, I, I couldn't help it, we were just riding around in the car. And uh, I don't know, coming here today, it reminded me of that. Cars and careful planes, trunky boats and bumpy trains, running, humming, buzzing by on the ground. But in the sky, well, our cold and it's dark and deep. So past the sky, we dare to creep. We may leave this funny space and try our best some other place. Look for other boys.
tell me the secrets in the sun. Sing some I swear I won't tell anyone. So I can hum it and forget the way it along. Hang on to it, make it sad, or make it groovy, make it happy, and I'll stay a second song. Come on, sing. Smith Band on any of that stuff, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, those are probably the main ones you're going to find us at, and, and uh, brothersmithband.com. So yeah, thanks for listening. Go on most of the Shell bathroom doors, wherever you go, so if you forget, just go find a Shell station and just look on one of the wall. Most of them in the men's restroom, that's, that's where I'm working with, so like I couldn't really get the numbers anywhere else. Or the uh, the ads, the hashtags and stuff. Yeah, that's right. I now understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, Keenan, 
for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you all so much. Uh, for those of you all okay, uh, remember to tip your bartenders, and also there's a glass up here that you can throw some cash in for Brother Smith for entertaining you all. It's the 10th anniversary at Country Boy Brewery, so um, let's give a massive uh, round of applause to them, to Country Boy. You are all drinking their beer, thank you being excited. Wow. Um, and then also, uh, once again, thanks to Brother Smith. Um, it's it's so incredible to see how much you all have grown in just the last five years since I've been listening to Gerald's music. Um, every time I listen to you all, it sounds like you all have gone like another step above. So keep up the work you're doing. Um, I you too. You all. Thank you. You are an inspiration to me. So um, it's it's. It's pretty cool to be able to do the things that I've been working on lately because it was never anything I had confidence to. You we were saying about it earlier. You got to do the things that you love and the things you enjoy. And for so long, I was not doing that. And it's just so important to make sure that you're diving headfirst into the things that bring passion to your life because if the things you're going to bring it to someone else. Yes, exactly. And if you have a mountain top that you're standing at and you're crushing it, and then you start having someone else in another mountain top that's saying, oh, it's good, or what the shelf, or whatever it is, um, it's, it's pretty chill. Jump. <laughs> jump, jump, but jump, jump to, uh, to your action, jump into action, maybe, but not to your death. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just been really cool to, to see you all grow, and I hope that we get to work together again soon. But the main show I'm excited to see you all at is the. Uh, Black Mountain Jamboree. Um, I think that that will be an absolute banger. That's going to be one of the better lineups that you're going to see in Kentucky this year. So I think that you are going to kill that, and uh, we'll let you all do one more song. Um, thanks so much to everybody that's here. Um, make sure you subscribe to the What The Show podcast. That's on Apple Music and on Spotify, and you can also find me on YouTube. Um, so what we'll be doing with this episode is it'll be audio clipped and we'll probably be loaded in the next week or so and then the audio or the actual video that we're working on will probably take a little bit longer but that should all be up within the end of the month so um, thank you all so much hope you all had a good time and let's give one more round of applause to Brothers Hit and we're going to play one song <laughs>
for coming. Um, that would conclude the end of this live What the Shuck podcast. Um, like I said, tip the brother Smith and also tip your bartenders. Give us your money. Give, give them your money. I know that's tough, but give me your money. Uh, but, like I said, um, you all can catch them tomorrow at the Great Hall with Nicholas Jamerson and the Morning Jays. And then uh, on Saturday, you can catch them in Newport. They're going to be playing in the full band with that. And then also Nicholas Jamerson will be playing, and they'll be playing with that too. So um, lots of opportunities to watch them. The main reason we're doing this, though, is because uh, we started a podcast yesterday also with Mr. Eric Bolander. And you guys are going to be doing a show on the 19th at the Borough, correct? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, next Saturday, uh, Brother Smith will be playing at the Borough, so that's another opportunity for y'all to go see him at a much, much larger capacity. Uh, this was just a small, small synthesizer. And once again, I thank them so much for coming on. Um, so I love you guys and thank you all. Thank you, love you too. I appreciate you. Uh, but like I said, this is the conclusion. I hope you all have a great night. Um, be safe and live the dream. Woo! If you're watching this, you're already watching this podcast. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy. Love it. Hey, great. You want to hear one more song? One more. What? I kind of used to know that. But no. I just heard the number. You want a one? It's broken, it's mine
Thank you, folks. Yeah. Have a great Thursday. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Awesome show.